Welcome everyone to HFN, also known as Houston News. Today is July the 6th, 2021. Take a look at my chart. You guys can see we are going to speak on Avalanche or AVAX. AVAX is the ticker symbol for this particular cryptocurrency. We're going to make sure that we all stay in tune with what the market has in store so that we can be in position and capitalize and win in this space right we're going to predict we're going to speculate where price is going to go so that we can win in the market this is what our community is all about we're not going to give you any fud any fomo it is our premise to ensure that you and i are in position to capitalize from the traps moves now the trap is the one you see on the bottom left side of my screen he's the one that moves the market and once you understand what he drops the breadcrumbs that he leaves us on the price chart you can actually see where price is going to go so that you can win now if you want to join us you can the doors are open hit the like button share and subscribe here to this channel also tap that bell notification as well to make sure that you are aware and updated on any changes in regards to where price is anticipated to go so now you guys can see we did our last price prediction in avalanche back here on june the 7th you guys can see you can even go back and check out our avix avalanche uh, playlist the video is in there you guys can see you guys can hear what we talked about during that particular time but either way we were playing the market weakness in avalanche right there on june the 7th right and that's pretty much what avalanche did it definitely exceeded our ultimate tp price uh right there around 14 dollars 85 cents we call that at least 14% there. If we were to get out right now, that would be around 21 and three quarters of a percent profitability, right? So pretty good call. Let's go ahead and get rid of it. The question we need to try to figure out now is, okay, great. Where in the world is the price gonna go now in Avalanche? First things first, we need to dictate where we've been, right? So the price in Avalanche has came all the way down here to this $10 area, right? So we need to follow what the trap has already completed held that price at ten dollars which is a pretty good area to see support i mean we've already endured that back here in the beginning of the year in january 2021 so for us to see the market come all the way back down and test that support area is pretty good to see that let me show you all what we got going on in the three-day time frame okay so this is the three-day time frame in avalanche now i'm already going to be forthright and real with each and every one of you i'm not here to pull your strings i'm not here to give you any hope this is where restriction is right there around 15. okay that literally has plagued the market in avalanche back in january right you guys can see we had a couple of days to where the market in avalanche could not break up above that particular number 15 dollars okay we're going to go through the same thing again here right now in july okay so be prepared to see the market in avalanche see some selling increase right there around 15 maybe even 16 dollars okay now i'm going to bring the ultimate restriction area up here in avalanche right there around 17 dollars almost 18 dollars so take a look we've already created our trading channel just that fast we've already created what we expect the market to find support and where we expect the market to find restriction it only means restriction only means selling and support means buying right now let's see how the market fared on last week so this is the market um how we ended last week into the market in avalanche and so far so good see i'm not bullish i'm not bearish what i'm looking forward to into the market in avalanche is just for us to trade right in between these two lines right i'm expecting the trap to try to make its way up there towards 18 dollars or 70 dollars and 50 cents but will it be successful that's yet to be determined okay uh, let's see the chart on a two week time frame. You guys can see here 12 more days on this current two weekly price bar. But so far, the market looks cool. It doesn't look like it's ready to plummet. It doesn't look like it's ready to drop in price. We're, we're, we're trading at a great place, right? The market is equal between the buyers and the sellers. There's not one overpowering the other. They're both pretty much in equilibrium right now, okay? Which looks pretty good. This is how we looked on the monthly time frame. I want you all to see that right here, that last month. Yeah, we did see some weakness, but the market wasn't extreme as what it was right here on this particular month, right there in May. Okay, so yeah, June was weakness, but it, it was calm. It wasn't that urgent. It wasn't swift. It wasn't fast to be moved to the downside. So that also tells us that we're finding a place of support, place of safety, 
a place of calmness in this space for Avalanche right now. Okay. So now let me show this on the hourly time frame. You guys can see that we're getting some increase in volume, a pretty good move to the upside, but you can see that we are closing off of the highs. So that tells you, that tells me that, yeah, there's some people trying to take some profit in Avalanche right now. Okay. That's what's going on. Can we continue to see this price go higher? I don't know. You guys can see even here on the five hour time frame that the market in Avalanche with this increase in volume is letting us know that people are definitely selling out into the market. Okay. So initially, can we see this price in Avalanche go lower? We sure can. So we need to keep our eyes focused in on this ascending line. Okay. Let me give you this. So in this movement to the downside, okay, this is on an hourly perspective. We need to allow the market to bounce off this line. So we can see the market come all the way back down to 13, 12 dollars and 50 cents. That will still be a good move, right? We can still be confident that the market trend is still in play. So we need to make sure we see that go on 13, no lower than 12.50, definitely no lower than at our ascending line right there. Okay. So now what we're going to do into the market right now is yeah, we're still going to continue to play the strength and the market in avalanche. So let me take this over to the daily real quick. Now I'm not, like I told you, I'm not overly bullish. I'm not going to be the ones to, you know, give you all hyped up telling you that the market in avalanche is going to come to $40. That is going to be worth thousands of dollars but rather maybe hit that $15 price that would be our first area TP which is around 10 and a half percent though so that's still decent all the way back up here towards 16 okay so I'm going to look for the market in Avalanche to try to come up here towards 16 to 18 dollars bring it down just a tad as we see this market trade throughout the month of July okay now we will see bounce of weakness the market will go lower some days but we have support 1250 no lower than ten dollars to allow this market is enough room to continue to move higher in price for the most part so this is it. I just wanted to break in give you all the updated price prediction in avalanche let you all see what we're talking about let you all hear what we're saying about where price is going to go for avalanche and this is it we're in position we're on the lookout to see where the trap is going to take the price and right now we just sit back kick back and let the market work because we're already in position this is what we're expecting so as the market trades we just sit back let him do his work and we just sit back until he gets to where we need him to be and we take the bag questions comments let us know make sure you maintain a profitability and as always trade different